Welcome back to another monthly update. Uh, we're here April the 5th. Beautiful day. We had a little cold spell over the weekend. I think uh, it actually went under 32 degrees for a couple of nights, but that was fine. I think that'll be the last one we have going in the spring. Um, April 1st, which everybody knows is April Fool's Day, was also our 23 years that we've been in business with Top Guns Realty. So uh, my daughter's 23 years old and uh, we started April 1st of 1998. So um, we just had our 23rd anniversary of opening up Top Guns Realty. So thought you ought to know that. Um, weather's great, market's awesome. Um, you know, if you're looking to sell something, certainly now is the time to do it, no doubt about that. Uh, because let's go over the numbers. Waterfront homes as of today, there are only 20 available waterfront homes. There are 22 pending right now. So again, you go back and look at the market. When we started 2020, we had over 200 waterfront homes available. And here we are a year later and we only have 20 available. But here's another statistic that'll blow your mind. Go back to last year. We had a record January, a record February, and then obviously we hit March. Everything got shut down in March and COVID. We had one deal on the board last April the 1st. One. This year, April the 1st, or today, April the 5th, we have 23 transactions on the board. Think about the difference in a year. That is just remarkable uh, and how busy that we've been, not only us, but everybody on the lake. So uh, just throw it out there. So far this year, 51 waterfront homes have sold. Average sales price, $1,267,967. Um, the average sales price is 98.03% of list. Um, the average square footage cost, just a little over $300. A square foot at 30209. Last year at this time, the numbers are similar because we had sold 50 at this time last year, you know, in the first, I guess, four months or three months. But the average sales price was a million twenty nine thousand. So the average sales price has gone up about 18.8% .8 from this time to last year. Now, what's really remarkable is waterfront lots. We started last year, there were roughly 370 waterfront lots available um, around this time last year. Right now, there are 142 available waterfront lots and there are 75 pending. But when you really look deep into that 142 waterfront lots, if you take the golf course communities out of it, you're down to around 90. And then when you take out the lots that can't get a covered dock, you're probably only around 25. So it's just really incredible. There's just not a lot of inventory out there right now. There are still some you know, values, I think, but just not many. 86 waterfront lots have already sold this year. Average sales price, $311,066. Uh, last year at this time, 34 properties had sold. So what an increase. I mean, we've almost, well, doubled two and a half times the amount of lots that have sold so far, the average sales price last year was 186,256. So the increase in waterfront lots has jumped up about 40%. Uh, and again, the supply and demand. We don't have a lot of properties available right now, so the, the values are certainly up there. So if you're looking to find something under 200,000 with a gentle slope and deep water and a big water view, that's not going to happen. So just letting you know, just being real at this stage. So. Um, and we're also picking up rentals earlier than we have any other time I see in the lake houses. So if you're looking to rent a lake house, you've been cooped up for last year, you want to get out, then you need to get on the phone and call Rick, 864-784-9977 to go ahead and book your lake house. I had a client that wanted to book a house and they called a little late and it was already booked. So I'm just don't wait because the houses are starting to book up, so you need to get involved in that. Uh, that's about it for this uh, update, so we'll catch you next month, uh, the beginning of May. But again, looking forward to this great weather. Hopefully it won't rain quite as much as we've had. But the good thing about the rain, it keeps the rivers flowing great and it keeps the lakes full.